Hi guys and welcome to their feelings for Taurus season for the beautiful sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hello guys, happy Saturday. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bam, so hello to my members. Let's represent with the Kiss My Marvelousness t-shirts on. I hope that you are representing where you're from, where you're at with your shirt. Hello. Thank you for those of you who have purchased those shirts. Um, they were a part of the Zodiac line for the 2021 collection. That got um, uploaded very, very late because of all of the issues that I was having and when I got sick. Um, but they're up now and I just haven't redesigned shirts this year and I'm running behind with that goal. But I will do that. But these are so awesome. They're so awesome. So that's that. Um, if you're new here with me again, hello. Everything that you need, Aries, is below in the description box for you or your collective. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be starting off with your self-care messages. And Aries, just to let you know, when the sun shifted into Taurus a couple of days ago, to be exact, um, it hit you in your second house. You got money on your mind. You got things on your mind that's all about money. Money, money, money. The second house of money is the money that you earn, okay? Your earning potential, your earning, you earning money, okay? I can let you know that last month um, for Aries season in your season, and I can't even make this up, you cross with Libra, which is the exact opposite of your energy, which is really, really interesting. Libra had this exact same card that I'm going to show you, but for now, Let's talk about what the second house is. Okay, I got hair everywhere. The second house is all matters related to your immediately, immediate material and physical environment. Wow. Taste, smells, sound, touch, and sight. It is a Taurus house. So you got Taurus things on your mind in Taurus season. This second house rules, of course, Income, money, and self-esteem. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, what's going on in your money house? Now, you know we got an eclipse coming up on the 30th, which is exactly seven days from today. I have not commentated on that one yet. I may try to squeeze that in. Let's go ahead and get into your first card, which is changed course. Of course, Libra did have this for their um, Aries season focus. Um, so you're crossing with a Libra in that way, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You're either crossing with one, connecting with one, or you have one in your um, in your energy right now. And it looks like that is the only individual who had changed course. The message is a closed door is an invitation from life to move into an even better direction. It is time for you to change course. This could be with this relationship that I'm going to be highlighting. Or it could be just in your life. Again, these are self-care messages, things that pertain to you and only you. Sometimes they spill over, though, into your relationships, which is the reason why I combined it at the top of the video rather than giving it its own video. Because those just got too much and I'm already sitting down, okay? What else does Aries need to focus on for Taurus season, please? And uh, it, it appears that you are definitely closed off right now. You are not allowing yourself to give away your energy. You are just kind of chilling, okay? Um, instead of being the fast approaching, um, dive into it emperors that you normally are, you're kind of chilling. you kind of just being, it's like slow and steady. You have a specific goal. You have your eyes set on the prize. But it seems like a lot of you guys right now, Aries, may be in... I don't want to say hangman mode, but hangman mode. You're kind of in an energy right now where you have a specific course that you are going to follow. But right now, this is like the calm before the storm. For others of you, you're just in plain, flat out four of swords mode right now. Quietly contemplating your next card is energy. Stop trying to please everyone. Everyone is a whole lot of people. You're being guided to protect your energy, and that's exactly what you're doing right now. Um, you are uh, the emperor or the empress for a lot of you guys, but Aries, your major arcana is emperor. You always uh, go for it. You get it. You really go for it. And right now, maybe there's been some things in your house, um, your second house um, that's being highlighted. Maybe that is what you're being guided to change course on. Just take a step back and 
Maybe your spending has gotten out of control. Let's just go ahead and talk about it. Um, maybe you are one of those individuals who associate money with your esteem, which is not great. But I can imagine with that being a very impulsive house. Um, and you, it, it's especially for those of you who actually has the sign of Aries in your second house, um, then, you know, your second house is all about what you, what you earn, what you get, you know, it's a fiery sign. You're there if that's where you are. Um, so, you know, you may have to curtail some spending or dig yourself out of a hole, which is my favorite line. Um, Aries is my descendant. So I understand sometimes, um, thank God I don't have. <laughs> I don't have um uh, I don't have Aries in that house, but I don't like what is there. <laughs> okay. We ain't getting into that. Oh, and friend, be as good as be as good can I can, can I read? Be as good a friend to yourself as you are to others. That goes back with your energy, doing too much for people. It's time that you give that to yourself. This is your self-care message. Um, and so this could spill out in your relationships. Um, I do have at the top of the de deck that speak up is here. If you avoid conflict to keep the peace, you start a war within yourself. Um, you're not speaking up about something that's bothering you. When I look at this change course uh, sign uh, card, this, this does look like a relationship. There are keys to a door, which key will open the door, so forth and so on. Speak up was... Um, what a lot of individuals got in airy season um, and speak up, which means that you're crossing with Taurus, you're crossing with Gemini. Um, it would have meant that you are crossing with those people. Um, these people may be in your energy and also Pisces. OK, there's something definitely that you need to speak up about. We're done here um, when the screen flips and turns or whatever I decided to put in there. We will get into their feelings for you, Aries, and I will see you then. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Aries, we're going to be taking a look at their feelings, okay? Um, and this is a play on my, what are the uh, you versus them. If you guys have been rocking with me for a while, I did a you versus them. The only difference is, is there's only going to be one card that represents your energy, um, Aries, um, opposed to five. Um, we will bring that back, um, but this is what we're going to be closing out the month with for now, okay? All right, so we're going to be taking a look at their current feelings, what they're feeling, what their view of you is, what actions they will take towards those feelings, if any, your feelings, and an overall energy with five clarifiers. Let's go ahead and get started. Aries, their feelings for you. <laughs> of course, it had to start out with a eight of swords, so they're afraid. They have uh, some self-imposed possible limitations um, and when I say self-imposed, it's typically because this energy is wrapped and steeped upon things that they have perceived um, sort of like, um, you know, they have a perception about things that have went on between you two that makes them feel like there is no hope, but it is a different type of energy. OK, if we break down the eight of swords, obviously it is a fear that it is that is being illustrated of swords that you base around yourself. Restriction. They are confused. They feel powerless. They do not know which way to turn Aries. OK, they are unsure about what to do. They feel trapped by the circumstances um, between you two um, and they feel they doubt they feel powerless and they doubt that you will do anything or that this situation will change why am I putting this down the most important beautiful thing about this is is this is also justice the major arcana for Libra and I told you that with that change course you were crossing with a Libra so Aries somebody that that's loving on you um, that you're connected with is a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and a Venus, okay? Um, and when I'm looking at this, this very strong Libra coming through for a couple of different synchronicities that I've already explained to you, okay? When we're looking at justice, obviously this is at its core karmic justice. They want it and they're, they will receive it responsibility they feel like they want you to take responsibility for something settle your old debt your old debts um they want you to um prepare for the decision whatever this was or weigh all sides of an issue or 
understand cause and effect understanding that what you put out you get back this is and, and this is a very strong karmic justice um um energy and on one hand, I want to say their feelings right now is they feel as if they are restricted, powerless and everything with that eight of swords. Yes, some of that is that they put they, they, they put themselves there based upon the way that they walked away and they the, their view of how things went with you guys. However, they also know. That there is a part of you that can be fair. But they want that justice. They feel like. I feel like a huge part of these people. They they want you to be punished almost. If that makes sense. Let's keep moving. What's their current view of Aries? Their view. Okay. Alright. So they are viewing you as a heartbreaker. Uh, someone that goes around. Heartbreaker, you got the best of me. And I, okay, that's not what you paid for, okay? Oh no, I got my, my, I've come undone. This is how they're viewing you. Not a great view. They're looking at you as a person who does what the hell he or she wants. Aries, they're looking at you as a person that hurt them. This is the Three of Swords. At the, um, at the core of this, it's about feeling heartbreak, feeling lonely, but they're viewing you as an individual that has betrayed them. Um, that, um, they, um, you let them down. Basically you let them down. You turned your back against them. So maybe it is that what they are perceiving that you have done, because when they're, when they're, their feelings is an eight of swords, I mean, you know, some of this happened, but I feel like you're, you're saying, especially if an eight of swords is an energy that is kind of self-imposed. You're looking at it in a very Aries way. I'm, I'm laughing because now I'm hearing, I'm hearing it like, I'm sorry you feel that way. That's how Aries apologizes. I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way. <clears throat> There's something here, Aries, that you feel like is their fault. They did it, so that they must suffer the consequences. <laughs> but you have to understand that regardless of what lives in their mind, and regardless that of what you disagree with, they still feel like you are someone who they gave up on because they feel like they've done been done wrong. And regardless of it, Aries, there is some responsibility that needs to be taken within that. You know what I'm saying? Um, there, You have to be able to look at it from their perspective. And even if it was a misunderstanding, they're not, they don't have a, very, a really good view of you right now. Um, they're viewing you as someone that basically just goes around and doing whatever the hell he or she wants. And let's just keep it all the way 100. You do get that reputation. And this is classic right now because you go and do whatever you please when you feel like it. And you do have a tendency of coming off selfishness, of very selfish. What actions will they take toward these feelings that they have? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Damn, Aries, how you... Oh, I cannot with you guys. So the actions that they're going to take right now is absolutely nothing. Now, I told you in the beginning that I felt like that this is where you were at. So this is clear that this is about a relationship. Your person is viewing you as a heartbreaker. Um, and right now you're chilling. You're focusing on your money. You got some clear second house stuff going on. I told you that the reason why I do that is because where you are and what your focus is in the month doesn't always um, is not always lined up with what the hell is going on in your relationships or with these interactions with people around you. So on top of your money stuff, <laughs> you got a person pissed off at you, feeling like you are nothing but a damn heartbreaker, looking at you right now. The actions that they are taking is t cutting off their feelings with the two of swords first before we get into hangman, okay? They're deciding to purposely cut you out block uh avoid you basically ignore you they are denying their true feelings for you and they are effing with you from a distance like i'm with aries i'm done they're avoiding all of this i don't necessarily feel like they are afraid to act because this is also hangman energy okay hangman energy 
You are being guided to take a step back, letting go, reversal, suspension, sacrifice. They are trying to or being guided to have an emotional release here. Okay. They are also in an energy of um, suspended action, doing absolutely nothing because right now there's nothing to do. However, there is an action that's going to be taking place. But right now, they're doing nothing. And finally, drum roll, please. Oh, I got some drums. I don't have no drums. I really need to uh, get with the program and get some um, some better um, sound effects in here because the drum roll is, let's find out how you feel. <laughs> how you feel about all of this? I'm so curious. You are, de look, like, like I told you, you're, Aries, you're, de you're definitely dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. There is nothing but swords here. So whatever in the hell you and this person is going through, it was a big under misunderstanding. Regardless of whether you feel this way or regardless of whether they feel that way, you guys are staying on your separate sides of the playground. Aha, uh -huh. so your feelings right now. Well, Aries, I don't know if this is the best thing. You look like you are doing you. You're in the flow. You are deciding that you're going to be in the Three of Cups. You are possibly going out enjoying yourself right now. You are exuberant, friendship, community, taking part of, like you got a new birth. I mean, you dancing and singing, you on top of the damn world. <laughs> oh my God. And that's fine. You have every right to be on top of the world. If you feel like you want, you want to go with the flow, go with the flow. And you know, this is where, what you want to do. And this is how you're protecting your energy by doing anything and everything to get yourself out of this funk. Go right ahead. Um, this is, looks like it's some, definitely some, um, very terrible emotions of very sword related. Um, and you're deciding, forget it. I'm going to go out. I'm going to have me some fun. I'm going to stay in the flow and I'm going to do all of that. You enjoying friendships with people, you meeting people, you doing you <laughs> gold star. However, like I tell all of my uh, closest clients, they hear me say this all the time. I stole this from Eddie Murphy Raw. You lose half on the trade in because not only what I'm about to reveal to you, that's at the top of the deck. That's revealing the overall energy between you and this person. This three of cups also talks about um, working together. And I think that there's a small part of you that wish that it would have went a, a, another way. But, you know, um, between this individual and I'm not going to sit back and, and falsify the energy of this card. It's more than just that. This is how you feel overall, not just what you're doing. This I didn't. I, this is not a card that illustrates necessarily what action you're taking. This is how you feel. So although you may be doing all of this, at the end of the day, you really want to do this with this person. So you can say what you want. Okay. Because how you feel is you would like to feel feeling exuberant. You want to enjoy friendship, including this person. You want to work with them. You want to be friendly. You don't want the tension. Okay. You don't want the tension. You don't. You can say what you want. It's a feeling card. It signifies a friend or the feelings associated with friendships. What is this card right here? What was the message on that card? Be as good a friend to yourself as you are to others. You also have an energy card saying to protect your energy. You've done this. You do this well. You're taking a break from that. I think ultimately... That could have been what you were doing. And that could pretty much so be what you do comfortably. But you're struggling with this tour, uh, with this Aries, because, you know, at the core of this, you need to understand high spirits, celebrations. OK, all of that's great where people feel loved and secure. You do feel good, but. I believe that it doesn't last too long because the top of the deck, overall energy between the both of you, the overall energy for all of this is this anxiety. You're trying to heal your heart and you heal your heart by other people. That's beautiful. When you, th this person is purposely blocking you out. You took that possibly as fuel to say, well, F it, I'm gonna go do me. 
when you're doing you for the wrong reasons, it always comes crashing down. So remember that um, there's still something that needs to be said here because at the top of the deck, you did have speak up. You guys are not speaking um, and that does not necessarily, that's not the best thing. If you avoid conflict, a conflict to keep the peace, you start a war inside yourself. And that's what this is. That's exactly what this is. You're up at night. There is anguish. There is worry. There is a lot of guilt. Um, and this individual is, is hurt. And no matter how much you do you, I don't know what type of Aries you are. This makes you feel like a real jackass. Um, it can make you feel guilty. You can say whatever you want to say, but if you are a human being that love this person, um, then you, you're worrying you, you're, you're doing you and you get lost and you keep your mind occupied, but you feel, you feel guilty. You're, you're, you are you're feeling a little bit of, of, of depression. You, you feel like you want to cry. You're up at night. Your griefs and your regrets come to mind most intensely at night. The quiet darkness that strips away the distractions of the day, leaving you alone with your thoughts. You can't front. And I say this, I'm like, when you lay your head down to sleep at night, you know what it is. And when I've said that to people that have pissed me off and done me wrong, that's because you know that that's where... That's when it comes alive. 4 a.m., 3 a.m., filled with worries that refuse to go away. This is an energy, guys, that represents unhappiness, which can strike at any time, but typically in the slumber hour, okay? So that's kind of where you guys are. Right, let's go. Let's go, okay? We're going to get into, and I want you to note that every single last one of these inner, these feelings, you've abandoned. This person feels abandoned by you. That's the reason why they're in the three of swords. They know they feel like you need to take responsibility for this mess that you created. But instead, you're going around doing you. And, it, and it's going to hit you harder, Aries, if that's what you're doing, because you're not processing, you're avoiding. You made the decision. Fine. That's completely OK. That's, and I hope that you have other things in your energy that uh, really help you carry that, because when your crash comes, if this is who you are, and keep in mind, this can be in reverse. But again, when your crash come, when you come crashing down from that three of cups and one of these cups upset you or you see that it's all shallow or you see that it's all fake. That crash is going to be something else and you are being guided to speak your truth. OK, so right now there is guilt. There is guilt. There is worry. I check on you from afar. So, um. They're checking on you from afar, possibly. Clarify this anguish. I don't know how. Um, I don't know whether it's from a distance, riding past your house, riding past your work. You deserve better than me. <laughs> I abandon people to make myself feel important. Aries, I am not ready. And finally, I can't I can see myself without you for the long term. I don't know what's going on. Um, regardless of what is happening right now, though, there's definitely a truth that needs to be revealed here. Um, I am looking at these clarifiers and honestly, it is what this person feels about you. And it actually kind of sounds like how you feel. Um, you did not take this relationship um, um um, the way you didn't take it seriously, they're internalizing and viewing you as a heartbreaker. They're trying to rebuild themselves from what you've done and you basking in the light and doing you, you, you do realize that karma exists. So, you know, I don't know who in the hell this is for, but somebody, this, I abandon people to make myself feel important. Um, I don't know. I don't know, but you still check on this person from afar you're not ready. But ultimately, if your truth is, as you can see yourself, you can see yourself without this person for the long term, then you deserve to be by yourself. Um, this feels like it can go either way. Again, the clarifiers is typically how this person feels. But sometimes we get these because I, I, I was the one who I felt all of this. I felt that this is what this person thought. And then when I see, you know, how you're feeling about things, I wish that if this is your situation that, um, you know, there will be 
some type of uh, conversation between you guys because you're being guided to change course. And yes, a closed door is an invitation to move into a better direction. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily categorize a three of cups Aries as that better direction. That just means that you're doing you and going with the flow. You're feeling exuberant. There has to be more than just that. And again, it's a feeling. Um, and, you know, you are protecting your energy. It says stop trying to please everyone, that everyone is a whole lot of people. Protect your energy. I think that you're just mad at this person because they're mad at you. Um, there's some emotional immaturity here, and it's not is not fun to read that um, because this person is really struggling. Um, and, you know, so I'm done. Maybe that's my Libra rising. I'm done with this because <laughs> it's pissing me off. Not my issue, but um, I really feel for whom, who, whomever is going through this, like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. We're going to move on. And this is closing out your energy. Your next video will come to you in Taurus season, but in May. For May's energy, and I'll see you then. Bye, Aries. And good luck to anyone who is feeling this, okay? If this is your story, let me say, um, and you want some clarity, you can go ahead and book, and um, I'll be here for you, okay? Bye, guys.